How you guys doing? This is a breakdown of an HF35, an ECVT, electronically controlled constant velocity transmission for this car. This, I don't care if you see the license plate. This is a Lincoln MKZ 2014. When we bought it, the transmission was making a whining noise when the engine was on. Uh, when it was in EV mode, it um, it sound uh, whisper quiet, but once the um, once the engine kicks in, there's there's a whining noise. So we believe that the transfer gear and the bearing set are bad. This isn't the transmission out of the car. This is another transmission that I purchased from California, because Lincoln is ridiculous on their used transmission, and Ford <laughs> is ridiculous with their used transmission. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how I took this apart in a, in a moment, but first I want to give you some background information on the transmission. The transmission uh, part number is DG, I could show you, but it's, it's down deep in there, is DG987000 EC. Um, and it is a 2.57 final drive ratio transmission. Now, um, there is another gentleman who has a school that he runs and he does uh, EV transmission breakdown, engine breakdown. He tells you pretty much everything you wanna know. Kudos to this gentleman because I would not have gotten to this point or been confident to get to this point without his, um, without his YouTube University video. So um, here's the breakdown. Um, Ford says that the replacement part on this is FG9Z7000P, and they charge roughly $5,000 for the transmission. And for the exact same transmission, Lincoln charges about $8,000. Uh, I think it's all about where you get it done. It's not about how much it costs. So um, I purchased a used transmission from California. Um, saved a few dollars but my main concern was whether or not these bearing sets were good or bad and um, and that meant that I have to open it up also there is a filter inside the transmission the filter number is DG 9Z 7A 098A and this filter can only be changed from inside the transmission okay um, what you want to take a look at is you want to take a look at the bearings here and make sure that there's not too much wiggle and you want to make sure that they ride smoothly and you want to look at how how scored they are or how clean they are. You also want to take a real good look at your teeth to make sure that they're not scored. So my intention is to have this installed in that Lincoln and um, I didn't want to waste money having a bad transmission installed. So this one, everything functions properly and it does spin. I'm a little concerned about um, the seal, but um, I guess if I lubricate that, that joint, I don't think it was leaking out of the seal spot before, but the, um, I can tell the original fluid, and you can look back there, that color is not because it's dark outside, that color is because it is the original organic fluid. They didn't use the synthetic fluid. And that organic fluid, here's a, a shot of what came out of the transmission. That really concerned me because there are no clutches or anything inside this transmission to make it dirty like that. Only oxidation can do that. And a synthetic fluid wouldn't oxidize. So it did two things uh, seeing that fluid, that color. It made me think, well, the fluid hadn't been changed by the original owner, which is great. Uh, that means that they either didn't have transmission problems or they had transmission problems a long time ago and the fluid is already oxidized. Um, or there's really, really something bad with the transmission. <laughs> and somehow uh, carbon is being um, ground into the oil. So I checked up with a magnet and it didn't seem like there was a lot of metal in the fluid, which um, still didn't, didn't help me determine whether or not these gears were good or bad. In order to um, remove this cover, in order to remove this cover and you also want to check your uh, your bearing receivers so in order to remove these co this cover I had to remove 22 um, here the bolts right here 22 of these half inch that's right half inch 
um, bolts. They look like half-inch bolts with 13 millimeter threads. It's, it's kind of strange, but that's what it is. Um, they all go around the side, but right here you have a, a key pin and you have a key over here. So uh, if you're looking from the top of the transmission, these are your oil feeds in the front here. This is the top of the transmission up here. This is the top of the transmission. This is the breather in the back. There is a pry point here after you remove all of the bolts. And don't forget to remove the bolt that's in the center. There's actually a bolt down in the center where the receiver is. And then um, there's another pry point here to break your bead. Um, you really don't want to try and stick anything in these areas because you may break the uh, aluminum housing or bend the aluminum housing. So they give you a break point to break it here and to break it here. And you have to break it at both points. And you notice that the, the key pins are in those locations. All right, um, so I replaced the filter. Uh, when I replaced the filter, there's actually a rest pin that's right about here. I pulled the rest pin up and this guy changed its alignment. So the rest pin couldn't go back down. But all you have to do is just move this, move this guy over. You can move it by hand. Move this guy over and it'll allow that pin to go back down where it's supposed to go. Uh, you want to check your your pump gear to make sure that it spins properly with the rest of the gears as they spin. So that works out great. I'm going to test the um, test the uh, the resistance actually on the um, the three leads for the, uh, the the drive motor and for the recovery motor, and just to make sure that um, that I get a, a fixed reading on those and that it is reading something uh, that those windings aren't open. But that's it. Um, I'm going to put it back together afterwards and make sure that everything is good. So here's the, uh, the part number on. <laughs> yeah, here's the part number on the filter. There's the old filter in the case there. Here's the, the old filter in the case. And it, the old filter doesn't get too dirty. It's, it's pretty much a clean system, so there are no clutches or anything in there. But it does get oxidized, which means that the, um, the oxidation may get filtered out of the, the fluid. So... All right, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, let me know. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm actually cleaning the, the sealing surface between the two. I'm going to go get some new sealant, and then I'm going to seal it back together properly. And uh, some high-temperature RTV. And then after that, I'm going to take it to the guy to have it installed in my wife's car. So that is it. So, uh, and the way that I'm cleaning the seal is I'm actually using uh, isopropylene alcohol in a spray bottle. And I'm spraying, so just spraying right here on the edge there. And then I'm using a Scotch Brite pad. Now, in order to make sure that I'm not dropping a lot of stuff down inside of the transmission and then having to go back and clean it later, I'm using um, paper, a, a paper dam right here on the edge. And then I clean it. And I make sure that everything comes on the outside of the transmission. So I'm not putting too much debris on the inside. That is it. Um, the whole job at Lincoln was quoted to me at $12,000. That is to get a new transmission from their supplier, put it in, and they give you a three-year warranty. Uh, Ford, for the exact same thing, the exact same transmission, with a little more expertise, because it seems like Ford does it a little, a little more often on their Focus and their C-Max. Um, they charge $8,000 out the door and give you the same three-year warranty. So if you're having this problem, uh, handle it as best you can. Uh, do it within your skill set. This is outside of my skill set, but um, I'm always up for saving as much money as possible and gaining as much knowledge as possible about what's going on inside the car or any device that I own. All right. So you guys take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.